I'm going to talk to you about um, the LPG as a fuel. But um, uh, before I start, just um, um, a few words about um, the World LPG Association. Now, we're an association of uh, more than 300 members coming from um, 125 uh, countries all over the world. And uh, we cover the entire supply chain we believe on LPG. Um, many of our members will be a very uh, well-known brands to you. The biggest energy companies are amongst um, our membership. And so we work on um, market development. Uh, we develop uh, good industry practices. Uh, we work on innovation, outreach, and advocacy. And uh, we organize uh, world forums uh, all over the world, the congresses, regional summits. Uh, so, as I said, um, uh, we work on advocation, uh, we work, uh, we support uh, efficient and responsible uh, business, and uh, we encourage um, uh, innovation and support uh, business growth. But this is about, um, about our association. Um, now, we, um, I, I prefer, I prefer to let uh, sometimes uh, some others speak um, uh, on our part, particularly those who, uh, who use the LPG as a fuel. And um, you will see some, uh, some quotes up on your, on your screen. And uh, particularly, I start uh, with uh, one of the biggest uh, operators of, um, of LPG carriers, uh, which is uh, BW. And uh, they were saying that, of course, they are looking to increase, to reduce their carbon footprint. And um, this is what they think that um, LPG is for. It's helping them um, uh, to do a reduction of uh, PMs, NOx, SOx, uh, CO2 emissions. Um, uh, you know, you know very well, I believe also yourselves, um, this. And um, they are telling us also that, uh, you know, ship-to-ship -ship transfers uh, with LPG carriers is something that uh, everybody who carries LPG does it all the time. Uh, so um, um, any vessel, any small vessel, uh, small uh, carrier, you know, could do this thing and act as, um, as a bunker vessel. Um, similar things we hear from also other experts in the industry, like, uh, like ABS. ABS has been working for many years. Um, in uh, studies and uh, looking at the LPG as, um, as a fuel. And um, uh, we see that um, um, uh, also they believe it is a fuel that uh, significantly can lower emissions. And uh, they are saying here that um, uh, they are very proud to work with Kawasaki now on the, on the new builds. Um, similar things uh, that we uh, will uh, read everywhere around us uh, are also, as we see um, here from uh, Kawasaki, for example, uh, which uh, particularly um, says that, uh, yes, uh, we heard before, LPG is a great fuel, LNG is a great fuel, and we are supporting also LNG. But um, in their view, in the view, LPG has additional advantages and um, um, offers uh, reduced initial investment. We know the initial investment is very high on, um, on LNG and uh, simpler handling. We know uh, LPG is simple, uh, LNG is a cryogenic product. Uh, we know, I mean, it's, um, it, it, it's something that everybody knows. Um, DNV tells us that uh, LPG is um, a fuel which proves increasingly at attractive to the market in the future, and also they are very favorable, and uh, they are looking at this, uh, at this fuel for, for the future. And I will end, of course, uh, who, uh, with uh, who else, uh, MIN, who is uh, the first one who built uh, the LPG, the dual fuel LPG engine. And uh, of course, they wouldn't have done that if they did not believe in this market, they did not believe in this, um, in this fuel. So um, as, uh, as you see, it's, uh, it's growing as believed to the sulfur-free character, uh, widespread availability, LPG can be found everywhere. Uh, price competitivity now, it was not like this in the past, but it is now. And of course, uh, the ease of bunkering. You find it everywhere you go. And um, MIN, of course, believes that um, there is a great future for, for LPG. This slide comes exactly from, uh, from MIN. And um, simply to say that uh, and to show that LPG is becoming now uh, a preferred uh, fuel for uh, the LPG carriers, this is clear. Uh, you will see that uh, there are two, 26 uh, carriers which are being prepared at the moment with, uh, with LPG engines. Um, we see the first one coming uh, in uh, 2020 and uh, then the following in uh, the 2021. Um, MIN tells us also that uh, they believe that uh, by, um, by 2028, all new builds, uh, LPG carriers will be fitted with uh, LPG-fueled uh, engines. That's a, that, that, that's a very important statement. 
Um, so uh, what is the situation now with the picture uh, on uh, what is being built at the moment? Well, you see it up on your screen. I don't need to, uh, to read it for you. Um, BW is doing retrofits. Uh, others are doing uh, new builds, but um, uh, very encouraging. Uh, indeed, uh, 26 uh, vessels are being uh, now prepared and uh, we keep reading for more and more as the time comes. Um, what has been happening, the new things that have, have, have been happening uh, uh, the, last, uh, the last two years, uh, you see them also up on your screen. The first orders came in 2018 for, uh, for these vessels, and then uh, we, um, we followed with the development of uh, new class, class uh, rules, you know, from DNV, from, um, DNV, from, um, uh, from class and K. And also, also we see from, um, from Daihatsu something uh, uh, quite interesting, uh, which uh, they develop a LPG combustion solution. It is a reformer, uh, which takes LPG and converts it uh, to, to gas for, um, uh, for LNG engines. Um, so uh, everything is, um, is going very positively and uh, the waves uh, really of growth uh, are supporting uh, the, um, the upcoming of, um, of LPG. Um, you see also um, uh, the codes are, are in place, so um, everything is, uh, is ready for uh, the opening of the market uh, with the LPG as, um, as a fuel. Um, but why, why is LPG really is, is good as a fuel? Uh, for what reasons do uh, those who embrace it embrace it today? Uh, well, it's, um, uh, it's very simple. Uh, of course, uh, for their environmental uh, performance, uh, for their emissions, and you can see up also on um, on your screen how, for example, it compares with um, uh, with LNG that you you heard a lot uh, before. Uh, and this, if uh, you see at the CO2, for example, this does not take into account methane slip um, methane slip at all. Uh, just a reminder for everyone that the LPG is not um, a greenhouse gas, so it has no methane slip. So no worry for anyone about this um, about this issue. Um, the other reason for, um, for adopting it, for embracing it, is supply. Now we know that uh, there is a big supply, there is abundance of, um, of this product, especially coming from, uh, from the US, and uh, this will keep, um, will keep being the case. Uh, what else? What are the reasons? Uh, well, the engines now are in place. Before we didn't have engines, now there are engines, there is technology in place. Um, Probably you also know that, that uh, we keep hearing for more technology and more development on, on, um, on this area. Um, bunkering, of course, bunkering, it is uh, the big advantage we believe uh, for the LPG as a fuel, because as LPG exists, um, exists everywhere, wherever you find um, import, uh, export terminals, this can be used for, um, for LPG uh, bunkering, it is obvious. Uh, small um, LPG vessels which uh, circulate uh, all around us, uh, they can be used for uh, as uh, LPG bunkers. So great, everything is in place, nothing or almost nothing to prepare. We don't have to build uh, new, uh, new, new, new ships, uh, new, new, new bunkers. Uh, we don't have to invest uh, on expensive solutions. Everything is almost there. Huh? So um, as you see, uh, the world is uh, full of um, our locations uh, with the import um, export terminals and uh, anybody really can, uh, can go everywhere and um, uh, be uh, supplied, be fueled by, by, uh, by, by LPG. So uh, all this and uh, many thanks actually to all of you for giving us um, uh, yesterday this precisions, uh, prestigious uh, award of uh, Green for Sea. Uh, all of this uh, we have uh, documented in our, our new report, which uh, you will see some examples at, um, on the table behind you, uh, where we list, um, um, we list all the various uh, bunkering models, uh, the various uh, regions where you can bunker, uh, the infrastructure that is already in place, uh, 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 regulatory issues, roadmaps, and um, barriers, recommendations for those who, um, who use LPG as a bunker fuel. So all is there. So I encourage you to, to have a look at the back. And to, we, also, we also have um, at the back some uh, ch chart of benefits that I will show you afterwards. Um, and again, as I said at the very beginning, I prefer sometimes to, lead, to, to let others uh, speak, uh, others, users, owners speak for this product and why they have uh, adopted it. Uh, so um, this comes uh, straight from, um, um, from BWLPG. Uh, they talk about increased efficiency of 11%, lower investment costs. Uh, of course, this is what I mentioned before. 
they compare it with, um, with LNG, for example, also scrubbers. Um, just to remind you that uh, BW LPG is building now, is retrofitting, in fact, 12 of their vessels. It's not a small number, 12 vessels. Um, they talk about uh, the advantages on, uh, on price sensitivity. Um, of course, they, uh, for the LPG carriers, they save uh, time for um, fees and for bunkering. Easy retrofit solution. This has to do with the simplest, uh, of course, uh, technology compared to, to, um, uh, to other options, or to uh, LNG, for example. Um, more reliable, fully flexible, and cleaner alternatives. This, this is what they tell us. So uh, we hear them, and we believe that uh, from the moment that uh, all these uh, ships will be will be on the water, uh, uh, there will be um, even more are coming, and there will be more results from their operation. Um, actually, the fact that um, um, they have exercised some options and they ordered uh, more retrofits was because they have done some tests and they found results which were more encouraging than they had initially thought. Um, at the back of the table, you will see a, a small charter um, about uh, uh, the benefits of the LPG, a charter of um, uh, benefits for the LPG as a marine um, bunker fuel, and uh, the big figures, the um, uh, summary of all this, uh, you will also find them there. And um, um, if anybody has um, uh, any question, uh, I, would, um, I would encourage them to come and see me afterwards. Uh, something which I have not seen the presentation, but uh, also as we mentioned uh, before, we talked about um, um, uh, renewables, about biofuels, of course, uh, bio, biomethane or other biofuels. Here I have not mentioned at all this, but uh, if you consider that uh, whatever is true for, um, for LPG, for the fossil LPG, is even more true for the biofuel, for the bio LPG, the biopropane, then you can see where LPG can take the market. Uh, we say that uh, by using uh, biopropane, bio-LPG, um, we save about 80% um, uh, of, uh, um, of, uh, of emissions of, uh, of, uh, of uh, CO2, of uh, global warming. So uh, with, this, um, with this last slide, um, um, I would like to thank um, everyone, and um, I'm very open to hear your questions afterwards. So thank you very much. Mm -hmm.